bro, we don't have a video for Monday. Abraham's been out of it, like, literally for the past month and a half. We can't record shit, like, we have all these videos to record, and I don't even know what to do. Like, he's just not in the vibe. I don't know what's going on with him. Like, he just seems so out of it. Like, have you not noticed that? Yeah, lucky. Yeah, like, like, I don't get what it is. Like, I've never seen him like that. Bro. Have you not talked to him about it? Not really, bro. Like, he's just he, to himself a lot. Like, I don't know how to address it. Honestly, let's just like, let's go downstairs and ask him. Yeah, all right. Yo, is he crying, bro? Abraham. No. Man, I'm not buying a house every day anymore. Oh my god. This is crazy. I don't know what to do. So the inevitable has happened. I no longer buy a house every single day. The housing market has crashed. In this video, I'll be going over why I don't buy a house every single day anymore, the factors that have contributed to it, where I think the market is heading, and what I'm gonna be doing because of these factors. So as most of you have known, for the last two years, I've been buying about a house every single day, about 30 houses a month. Well, up until about a month ago, that has been the case. Over the last month, I'm probably buying almost half what I used to buy. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons why this is happening, um, but the market has come down so fast that people think their houses are worth more than they are. So it's very, very hard to close as many deals because I gotta negotiate so hard because again, people don't realize how much the market has gone down. The reason why I know how much the market has gone down is because I own so many homes. I have hundreds of homes for sale right now and I just see what retail customers are offering me for them and it's just so much less than it was a few months ago. I'm literally getting at least 30% less offers than I used to get three or four months ago. And people don't realize how much that's, that's, that's been happening. And on top of that, the other big problem is if I buy homes now, even if I you know, know that I'm buying them for 30% less than I was before, I don't know what's gonna happen by the time I finish rehabbing them. That might be another three, four months before I sell them. Will they go down even more over the next three months or will they stay where they're at now? It's very hard to know, but you have to be safe because you have to assume that there's a very good chance it's gonna keep going down a little bit as the interest rates keep going up. So you're probably wondering, where do I think the market is headed right now? I mean, I've been doing real estate for over 25 years. I've seen the ups and downs, and a lot of people ask me, well, what do I think is gonna happen? Honestly, I really think the market is gonna keep coming down. Now, that doesn't mean that it's gonna be bad to be in the real estate market. It just means you gotta do it differently. Before, I was fixing and flipping most houses that I was buying. And lately, over the last three, four months, I've been buying a lot of homes with creative financing using owner finance and subject to keeping the um, previous owner's mortgage in place. And instead of fixing and flipping them, which has been a little bit tougher lately, I've been keeping them and turning them into rentals, Airbnbs, rooming homes, and other different exit strategies that I have. Now, the reason why I think that we could keep doing this is because the rental rates haven't really gone down much. And statistically over the years, they really don't go down that much even if there's a bad market. Sometimes they go down a little bit, but usually they stay the same. Now, I still think that the rental markets might go down a little bit because they've gone up so much so fast over the last year and a half, two years, that I think there's some room to go down, but I don't think it's gonna go down that much. So I think you're very safe buying a lot more properties using creative financing. So literally I was buying about 10%, maybe 15% of the properties over the last couple years that I was buying using creative finance and the other 85, 90% was cash. Well, going forward and over the last few months, it's, it's shifted. It's almost like 40 to 50% creative finance and 50 to 60% cash. And I think as the market keeps coming down, I'm gonna you know, shift even more to where maybe 60, 70, 80% at some point will be bought with creative financing and then the balance for cash. So I still think there's a lot of money to be made, but you can't assume that you can keep buying stuff and flipping it because it's harder to get loans, the interest rates are really high, and there's not as many people looking right now. But there's plenty of people that still need a place to live, and there's plenty of people looking for good rentals, so that will be the strategy that I'm shifting to right now. Additionally, another thing that I'm gonna do because I feel that the real estate market is going down, I'm not gonna be as busy over the next you know, short period of time with real estate. I used to be 80%, 90% into business and then maybe 10 to 20% into real estate. 
Over the last two years, I was 90% plus into real estate and maybe 10% into business. Well, as the market shifts, and as it gets harder to you know, buy stuff, fix it and flip it, um, I'm gonna be getting a lot more into business. So I have a lot more business um, ventures that I'm actually starting right now and that I started over the last few months that are headed in the right direction. And over the next you know, short period of time and long period of time, I'm just gonna be doing more and more business. There's always tons of money to be made in business, whether the market is bad or good. It just depends on what type of business you should get into. Some businesses don't do good in you know, recessions and some do really, really good. So you gotta you know, be smart and figure out which businesses that you should get into with this type of market that we're heading into. And that's what I'm trying to figure out and that's what I'm gonna get into. I've been doing business again since I was 15. I'm 47 right now, 32 years I've been doing business and I've seen all the ups and downs. I know when you should get into you know, different types of businesses based on how the economy is. So that's where I'm headed right now. I've had a lot of people ask me what to do now. A lot of people I've seen get out of the real estate market depressed, crying, not knowing what to do. What I tell them is just pivot, figure out what you can do good in. Don't necessarily get out of the real estate market if that's what you like to do. Just figure out a way to use the real estate market in today's economy, in today's market, to use it in the right way so you can make money. So wipe those tears away. The YouTube market hasn't gone down at all. Actually, the YouTube market is way the fuck up. So you know what? Like, subscribe, comment on other videos you wanna see me make, and we're gonna blow this YouTube up out of the water.